surgical instruments it is very important topic in the aspect of practical examination or viva and their importance in the clinical practice also so dear friends i am dr prashant in this video we are going to discuss about some common surgical instruments which are generally used in the surgical practice so let us start one by one generally in the surgical instruments there are forceps so the forceps like a uh, artery forcep muscle forcep or the any four arm instruments they have some common parts so it is very important to know the parts of the instruments if you look into this image there are two instruments one is the scissor and second one is the artery forcep so as we see the lowermost part where the fingers are kept the ring is there it is called the finger ring and uh, middle to the ring there are there are two projections which are called the ratchets the ratchets are used to lock the instrument there are three tooth or ratchet and the every tooth has a its a pressure impact on the tissue if the one tooth is locked the less pressure is there if you use two tooth if you lock two tooths then the pressure is more and three tooths when we apply then the maximum pressure and the grip is very firm on the tissue of instrument so the parts first the finger ring second the ratchet and where the two portions of the instruments are joined that is called as the joint of the instrument okay so joint may be screw joint or it may be box type of joint so and uh, above the joint the part of the instrument is a blade blades are there and the topmost part of the blade is called the tip so from the upper side we can find there is a tip blade joint and the body part of the instrument finger ring and the ratchet of the instrument okay so these are the common parts of the instruments this is a needle holder the speciality of this instrument it has the very short blades and the blades in the internally they have a criss cross serrations and in the middle part it has a groove vertical groove so the blades having criss cross serrations and vertical groove in the middle with the short blades and the body part is the long it is called as the needle holder forcep to it is used to hold the needle for the purpose of suturing and the other parts of the instruments are same as a finger ring and it has a ratchet so this is the needle holder forcep okay purpose is to hold the needle for the suturing purpose this is a mosquito artery forcep actually this is a small artery forcep the small artery forceps are also called as a mosquito artery forceps and uh, this is used to uh, achieve hemostasis and to hold the small bleeding capillaries and vessels and may be useful to stop the bleeding from the vessel or the tissue it has a curved blade 
एंड द सरेशंस आर ट्रांसफर सरेशंस एंड अदर बॉडी पार्ट्स आर एज इज वर सो स्मॉल आर्टिफोसिप और मॉस्किटो फोसिप एंड इट इज यूज टू एचिव हिमोस्टासिस दिस इज ए सीजर एक्चुअली सीजर इज द इंस्ट्रूमेंट यूज फॉर ब्लंट एज वेल एज शार्प डिसेक्शन एंड ऑल्सो फॉर कटिंग वेरियस स्ट्रक्चर एंड सूजर्स the scissors are available in various sizes and designs they are straight scissors and curve scissors this one is a curve scissor and uh, straight scissor which can be blunt or fine pointed and curve scissor there are two types curve on flat scissor and curve on angle scissor this is a curve on flat scissor and uh, the curvature of this blade is along its long axis in vertical plane such a scissor is used for dissecting at the depth example for cutting the adhesions of growth organ inside the abdominal cavity the scissors can be used to trim the sutures during closure so this is a curve scissor curve on flat it's a scissor it is also called as a mayo scissor this is a dissecting forceps this one is a tooth dissecting forceps dissecting forceps are there are two types of dissecting forceps one is the plain forceps and one is the tooth forceps so the general features are the forceps are designed in such a way that on placing their limbs the tips are well opposed and they do not slip against each other the outer surface of dissecting forceps is made rough by the grooves and ridges this helps in giving a firm grip and the tooth the forceps have teeth on their inner surface of the tip and regarding uses the tooth forceps are used to hold tough structures like skin fascia and erector sheet and plain forceps are used to uh, hold delicate structures like a peritoneum vessels and bowel walls these are also used to hold skin over face and the cartilage for stitching purpose and also used to dissect soft fiber tissues this one is the slit proctoscope slit is given for the therapeutic purpose so if you want to do some procedure or if you want to apply the kshara or any injection in the specific segment of the anorectal area then the this slit can be used so when there is a slit it is called as a slit proctoscope and when it is not slit is a proctoscope okay proctoscope is used to diagnose piles rectal ulcers growth of rectums and for minor operations like injection of piles pilopec polypectomy rectal biopsies this instrument can be useful so the this instrument is a proctoscope and used to visualize the anal canal and the rectum area for the purpose of diagnostic purpose and uh, for the therapeutic purpose it has a two parts obturator and the scope okay proctoscope is not used in the case of fissure or any painful spasmodic condition in the anal like a ischemic abscess or if the patient doesn't give the consent for the scopy then it is also contra indication for the proctoscopy so acute fissure or the painful conditions of the anal area and the consent 
if the patient is not given consent then you cannot do the protoscopy okay this is a scoop and curator so to debride the to curate the wound or to curate the track this uh, scoop and curator can be used one is for the scooping purpose and uh, another end is for the curating purpose so this can be used in the case of uh, dnc and uh, again uh, in the fistulous track we can use it for the scooping purpose or to for the curating purpose so scoop and curator is this this is a fistula director it is a thin long instrument with a winged head end its tip is uh, malleable and can be used both as a probe and as a director and it is used in the operation of fistula and ano for tracing the track it is used in external erythrotomy operation and uh, for tongue tie operation also this can be used these are probes one is a steel probe and second one is the copper probe so copper probe is a malleable probe it is also useful to find out the track and to trace the track direction of the track depth of the track and the what is the nature of track it can be used in the surgeries for fistula in ano or diagnose the fistula whereas the steel probes are also used for the same purpose but they are not malleable so when we want uh, the to know the direction and go as per the direction then the malleable probes are useful especially for the shastra purpose the copper malleable probes are very useful because they are smooth and uh, has a malleable nature so that they can be easily uh, bent as per the track and um, easily came out from the internal opening this is a lens tissue forcep this is a tissue holding forcep the blades are curved and uh, thicker as compared to ellis forcep the tip of the blade has got a single tooth the blades are finestrated the finestration makes the instrument light in weight and also provides more space for the tissue to be held it has got a catch lock mechanism for locking on the tissue held and it basically it is used for holding tough and bulky tissues and uh, it can be used to hold skin for apposition to hold sac lining for excision to hold lymph node for lymph node biopsy to hold appendix along with meso appendix during appendectomy and uh, it may be also used conventionally as a towel clip for fixing towels to the skin thereby isolating the wounds from the suturing or surrounding skin this one is the ellis tissue forcep the blades are straight along its long axis and are separated by a space except at the tip the tip has got sharp teeth which uh, interlock on closing it has got a catch lock mechanism for closing the edges are this is used to hold thin but tough structures for the purpose of giving traction onto these structures example for holding skin de fascia rectus sheet the sac of hydrocele etc it can also be used to hold tissues like fibrous capsule of a structure of dissection similarly it can be used to hold the bladder neck while doing bladder neck resection this is a 
ramp lines sponge holding forcep the features are it is long instrument with thin shafts it has a catch lock which helps in holding the sponge firmly while cleaning the blades are fenestrated near its distal end and the inner aspect of the blades are serrated it is uh, the most common use is for cleaning the operative field it is also used for swabbing a cavity it can similarly be used for packing cavities and it can also be used for mopping ooze from operative area so that the structures can be identified easily it can be used to hold soft hollow organs during operations also used for blunt dissections at depth it may be used to hold cervix in a pregnant patient it can be used in place of ohm forcep so these are the uses of sponge holding forcep this is the straight artery forcep which is also called as a hemostat as we know the hemostats are small medium and large the smaller one are called also called as a mosquito forceps and the larger one are also called as a pedicular forceps and each can be again straight and curve type so this is the straight artery forcep and uh, basically used for the purpose of hemostasis to achieve the hemostasis or to hold the bleeding points bleeding vessels to control the bleeding okay as it is a hemostat and uh, it can be worked as a pedicular clamp for spleen and kidney used to crush the base of appendix during appendectomy it also used to open up the abscess cavity and it is also to used to hold uh, needles for suturing similarly to hold the free ends of sutures and to hold the tape of the abdominal packs to the drapes thereby ending any chance of leaving the abdominal pack inside undetected so there are multiple uses of this artery forcep this is a langenbeck's retractor it is a retractor with a small solid blade and a long handle it can also be double bladed the long handle is advantageous as it allows better maneuverability maneuverability without obstructing the surgeon and it is used for retraction of skin edges or big vessels and nerves it is used in operations like a hernioplasty involving a lot of superficial dissection and retraction this one is a morris retractor with single blade it is a large strong retractor with a anterior posteriorly curved blades the blades may be single or two in number the concavity of the blade gives wider space to work the blade has a beaked end to give better hold over the retracted tissues the shaft of the retractor may be fenestrated and this makes the instrument light it is used to retract strong structures like abdominal wall musculature the beak at the lower end of the blade gives a firm hold over the tissue and the concavity of the blade gives wider space space to work so this is the morris retractor this is a piles holding forcep it is used in the pile surgery to hold the pile mass at the in the blade region internally 
it has a oval shape groove this is uh, useful to hold the pile mass firmly and uh, it also use useful to achieve the hemostasis or to control the building also so for the firm grip and to achieve the hemostasis this vertical oval shaped grooves in the blade can be useful this is the piles holding force the similar parts are remaining parts are there like a ratchet and finger rings are there okay this is the chitals force it is a large heavy metallic forceps with curved blades the blades have large serrations which help in getting a better hold of instruments being held with it it has a no lock so this is a chitals forcep to use it is an instrument which is used to select and pick sterilized and autoclaved articles like drapes instruments etc the instrument is used to avoid touching sterilized articles with hands while transferring them from one tray to another tray it is usually kept dipped in an antiseptic solution such as a sedex or retal water so this is the chitels forcep in the dissection of forcep we can see the parts of instrument as in shown in this image the ending point which uh, joins the two parts of the instrument is joint and uh, nearby joint there is a handle grip which is the has a grooved surface and uh, after the grooved surface there is a blade which is called the shank and it has a jaw and at the tip it may be plain or it may be toothed so this is these are the features of uh, dissection forceps there are two types plain and curved here you can see the protoscope which is not slitted and this can be used for the diagnosis of piles rectal ulcers and the interior of the anorectal region it has a two parts one is the cannula and the obturator or the scope and the obturator this is the bp handle bard and parker's handle it is to fix the blade to this instrument by fixing the blade to this instrument uh, for the firm grip and control grip can be achieved and uh, there are various sizes of blades are there and the bp handles are again up has a generally they are used of number 3 and number 4 bp handles and number 3 bp handle has a different uh, blade structures for fixing and number 4 has a different uh, blood, uh, blade structures for the fixing purpose you can see here the where we can see the number of blade and uh, on the instruments bp handle you can see the number 3 is there so these instruments can be used with proper uh size of the blade and which needs proper size of handle also and uh, after that the suture needles suture needles can be form around uh, point point 5 5.5 uh, mm to 13 mm and shaped as a pointed spatulated reverse cutting taper cut straight cutting conventional cutting and others it can be straight or curved and there can be single or double arm sutures 
you can see in this picture there are different types of needles are there basically the tomatic needles and atomatic needles tomatic needles are the round body needles and the atomatic needles are the round body and tomatic are the cutting bodies so the edges of the needle are the cutting in nature and the round body has a very smooth edges there is a no trauma to the tissue that's why they are called as non-traumatic needles another one is the straight needle as is there uh, it is also used to suture the skin uh, in the old and old days this uh, needle is being used but nowadays the this is not used these are the simple rubber catheters of different size they are used to drain the urine from the bladder in the various conditions where the urine get retention retained in the bladder and to remove the urine from the bladder these are used depending on the size of the urethra or depending on the age of the person and the structure of the body you can choose the uh, rubber catheters starting on the 8 number up to the 16 number so simple rubber catheter it is a non retaining rubber catheter it cannot be retained in the bladder because it has a no such a place to retain into the bladder and uh, that's why the another category is there which is called as the Foley's catheter. Foley's catheter is the retaining catheter, self-retaining catheter because it has a uh, balloon port also, balloon and there are two portal systems are there in the Foley's catheter. One is the balloon port and second is the urine port. So after the insertion of this catheter into the bladder, we have to infiltrate, infiltrate the balloon with a normal saline. So that's why the it will get infiltrated and the balloon is uh, sole enough and it will not came back from the urethra. So it will retain into the bladder.